What's more effective than mom trying to tell you to clean your room? Two moms trying to tell you to clean your room. Believe it or not, that's the basic principle behind MIMO. MIMO stands for multiple input, multiple output, and refers to the use of multiple antennas sending or receiving data using a natural radio wave phenomenon called multipath. Multipath allows transmitted information to bounce off walls and ceilings and other objects, reaching the receiving antenna multiple times via slightly different paths and at slightly different times. Previously, this would have caused interference, but MIMO uses the spatial, spatial dimension. dimension to significantly improve performance. That's geek speak for it good. With MIMO, more is better, and each variant from 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, 8x8, and more adds a bump in capacity and coverage. Um, what now? Well, MIMO can be used in a couple of important ways. The easiest is spatial multiplexing, where a unique data stream is sent out each transmit antenna. A receiver could combine these signals and theoretically receive x times more data than a single antenna could deliver. This would be like four moms telling you to do four different things at the same time. As long as you can decode the chatter, you'd be a more productive kid. Spatial multiplexing is used to increase the capacity or bandwidth in a system. And it's what allows us to hit blazing download speeds of hundreds of megabits per second or even gigabits per second. Diversity coding sends the same data stream out of multiple antennas, but each version will travel a unique path. The receiver will see multiple copies, but with slight variations in time. This makes it easier for the receiver to correctly reconstruct the original signal. And it's like having three moms say the same thing at the same time, but in slightly different directions. Each voice will travel a different path, so you're more likely to hear at least one or two of them over your computer headphones. And you only need to hear one correctly to get the message. Diversity coding improves the range a signal can travel, meaning a 5G cell site deployed at 3.5 gigahertz could use MIMO to cover the same geographical area as a 3G cell site operating at 2.1 gigahertz, improving coverage, and improving costs. Finally, beamforming sends the same signal from each transmit antenna, but adds appropriate phase and gain weightings to maximize the signal power at the receiver. This would be like moms all shouting the same thing with slight changes in delay and volume to account for your specific location. When all the shouting reaches you, they're in perfect sync. But if you move around the house, the delays and volumes would need to be adjusted again as you fall out of the beam. Beamforming increases the received signal strength in a particular area and improves the experience for users and devices within the beam. MIMO is so good, it's become standard for mobile deployments from 3G, 4G, and 5G, and even Wi-Fi. But wait, there's more. We can go beyond 8x8 MIMO into 32x32, 64x64, or even higher for a massive boost that uses all three techniques at the same time. But we gotta save something for another video, right? Thanks for watching. Yes, yes, I, mom, I did it already. I did it already. Can, can you just send me a text? Just send me a text. Okay.